Can't you send someone any sooner? The clock is ticking, and I need this result ASAP. I'm sorry, but we don't have any adventurers available at this instant. Ah, <sighs> your timing is most optimal. Allow me to introduce Yu Ning, manager of the Yun Han Opera Troupe. She has commissioned the guild to... Traveler? Ugh, Yun Jin is always talking about you. Please, you've got to help us find her. Yep, she's gone and disappeared. Now of all times, just days away from the big performance. All she left was a short note. If our audience doesn't get to see Yoon Jin on stage, they'll start tearing the place down. I mean, what am I supposed to do, huh? That's what I said too, but... Look, when you're a megastar like Yoon Jin, you gotta start taking things a little more seriously. Saying she'll be back doesn't give me a whole lot of reassurance when she's showing no regard for her own safety. Why does she have to go and practice somewhere so dangerous? What if something happens to her? What am I going to tell the audience? Well then, what if she gets into a scrape and hurts herself? If she gets so much as a scratch, it'll be a loss to the whole nation. <sighs> as you can see, this is what we're up against. Would you be willing to accept this commission? Oh, wonderful. Oh, thank the stars. Please, you've got to bring her back, safe and sound. I'm counting on you to bring my top talent back to where she needs to be. is order. Apologize, I didn't see you there. What brings you all the way up here? Oddly enough, I was just thinking of scheduling a meeting with you later. I didn't expect to run into you here, of all places. Ah, oh, I see. So Yunning sent you. I did tell her not to worry. Oh, but on this occasion, it seems I'm rather lucky you came. You've helped me avert a major catastrophe. It's a pity, though. I was so close to achieving the state of mind that Shenhe was talking about. Do you remember what Shenhe said about the Divine Damsel fighting against the evil monster? That in reality, she hadn't acted as courageously as the operatic rendition would have you believe. That it was simply a matter of life and death, and she chose self-preservation. Granted, she later admitted that she preferred the version of events given in the opera, with its portrayal of a divine heroine sacrificing herself for others. But after giving it a lot of consideration, I think that this character is defined by her emotional complexity, and even uncertainty. So the more emotions I can experience for myself, the wider range I will have to draw on in my performance. If access to a different state of mind can help me provide a fresh interpretation of the character and her actions, well, surely it will take my acting skills to the next level. That's why I came here. My plan was to take it slowly, start by just dipping my toe in, as it were. But once I started, I just got completely drawn in. <sighs> I feel like I was so close to a breakthrough here. Considering the rewards that I could reap from this experience, the risk is negligible. 
Still, if I choose to continue, this is unlikely to be the last time I'd need your help. Hmm. I suppose I had better return to Liyue Harbor for now. I'll only end up putting you in an awkward position otherwise. Goodness knows how you'd explain this to Yuning. I wonder whether I have gained anything useful from this trip. Hmm. I suppose only time will tell. Can you put a few more adventurers on the case or something? Please have faith in her. Ah, oh, they've returned. Yunning, we're back. <gasps> Yunjin, are you okay? Are you hurt? Do you need to go to Boo Boo Pharmacy? Ah, oh, no, I'm fine. You don't need to worry. When it's time to go on stage, I'll be there. <sighs> Look, I get it. You like to go out exploring. That's fine. But do you really have to go off thrill-seeking this close to the show? You have to take better care of yourself, okay? For all our sakes, for the opera troupe and for your audience. We're just lucky we had the Traveler to help out. What if something had happened to you, huh? What would I say to our audience, hmm? Well, I would say the best way to make it up to our audience is to give them the best performance we can. Don't you agree? While I'm off stage, as long as there is something, anything I can do to improve my acting ability, even the slightest amount, I can't pass up the opportunity. You know, you... you... Ugh! I don't know what to say anymore. Traveler, please, you tell her. So, what's your honest opinion? Exactly, exactly. Just think of all the people coming from far and wide just to show you their support. <sighs> Why do you make it sound like they are coming to see me and not the show? <laughs> well, same difference, isn't it? I don't think so. They seem quite different to me. <sighs> well, either way, you're quite right. I mustn't let down our audience, especially those who came from afar. And I certainly mustn't make you come out looking for me again. So I suppose I will put my training exercises on hold for a while. Phew, I'm glad to know that the brightest star in my troop is finally gonna start listening to reason. <sighs> I'm gonna head back and see how the set is coming along. Don't go disappearing on me again. <sighs> All right, I'll head back and do some rehearsing. It's no substitute for first-hand experience, but it should still help me iron out a few issues. <laughs> Speaking of which, I haven't even thanked you properly for saving me. If you are free after the show, come and find me at Hayu Tea House. is really something, but Liyue Opera performed by Miss Yun, now that's something else! Really performed! 
performance. I've never seen anything like it before in my life. Your reputation is well deserved. <laughs> well, I've had the pleasure of seeing the talented Miss Yun on stage many a time in the past. But the songs still sound fresh and new every single time. It's been barely a few days since I last saw you perform. But once again, Yun Jin, you've progressed by leaps and bounds. Oh, you're far too kind, both of you. I'm still new to the profession, but I promised myself when I joined the troupe that I would strive to develop myself as a performer every day. And I wouldn't be where I am now without everyone's faithful support. Nonsense, you're too humble, Miss Yun. You're a major celebrity. Who in Liyue hasn't heard the name Yun Jin? <laughs> in the circles I move in, anyone who says they've never seen Yun Jin on stage is at risk of getting laughed out of business. <laughs> <sighs> As it happens, I have a business meeting at the Xinyue kiosk with a client who is also a big fan of yours. So, <clears throat> I was wondering if you'd perhaps like to join us for the meal. Oh, ah, uh, me too. I put the table at the Leo Lee Pavilion and was hoping you might join me. Oh, I'm terribly sorry to both of you, but I won't be able to make it. I'm very grateful for the invitations, but I'm afraid uh, I already have arrangements for this evening. Isn't that right, Traveler? <laughs> okay, you have plans, but uh, you're really gonna pass this up? I mean, you can always reschedule. Wait a second, you're... Well, I guess it's not going to work out today, then. Maybe another day, Miss Yoon. Huh, they took off pretty quick. Do they know something I don't? Haha, <laughs> I guess I'll be leaving too. Wouldn't want to cramp your style. Take care, both of you. Sorry that I can't see you off. Whew. Thanks for coming to my rescue. Again. Look at you. You're a national treasure. Even Gentry Maozai is in awe of you. I feel a little sorry for Shinyue Kiosk in the Uli Pavilion. I just hope the food won't go to waste. I don't think we'd be able to get a seat this late. But it's fine. I have a better place we can go. Let's head downstairs. I owe you a big thank you tonight. Miss Yoon? Oh, wow. It's really you. I, um, <clears throat> I have just a few questions, if you don't mind. Hey, get back here. Oh, ditzy girl, you don't have a clue what you're doing. Are you a journalist? If you'd like to arrange an interview, you'll have to liaise with my manager. Sorry, Miss Yoon. Don't mind her. She's just new and still learning the ropes. We'll leave you alone. Oh. Miss Yoon, I'm interested to know why you added a silk dance. Hmm? You... you noticed that? Yes. Based on the original script, that scene would see your character perform the Adeptus Walk. But the addition of the silk dance meant that the whole way you carried yourself was so much more... so much more... Animated. Yes, yes! But delicate and graceful, like a crane. Uh, oh, sorry. Which publication are you from? How come I haven't met you before? Oh, uh, I... well... Ah, yeah, well, we're from the Steambird. I am Boy Yi, the editor-in-chief. This young lady is sure you one of my journalists. We were based in Fontaine. Just recently we made the move back to Liyue. Oh, I see. You're from the Steambird. Then it's no wonder. Your journalist has clearly done her research. The... That's very kind of you, but really, my level of knowledge is very basic compared to yours. Hey, Miss Yoon is throwing you a bone here. Make the most of it, okay? Talk to her! Talk to her! Actually, I'm afraid there's somewhere I need to be. And I'd really need to clear this interview with my manager. Hmm. 
<sighs> yes, you're right. I'm very sorry, but I'm afraid the troop is pretty strict about the rules for this kind of thing, so we'll have to do this one by the book. Please liaise with my manager, and we can do this interview another day. The Steambird is a highly reputable publication, so I'm sure my manager won't give you a hard time. Once the interview is arranged, I'll be very happy to answer any and all questions you have. But... <sighs> Fair enough. Sorry if we're being intrusive. Please forgive us? We'll leave you in peace. Hey, come on, quit dawdling! Yes, I I'm coming. Bye, Monsieur Un Hey, wait! That's the wrong way if you wanted to talk to my manager. Oh well, never mind. I have a friend who works for a paper. I'll ask them later. For now, though, the top priority is making good on our plans. Now that I think about it, I've turned down three social engagements tonight. Come with me. Our plan is the only one remaining, so let's make the most of it. I can smell the fragrance of food in the air. Yes, Cherhu Rock is definitely the place to go after a performance. Oh, so you're a regular in Cherhu Rock too, huh? Third Round Knockout has a great view. It's the perfect place to drink some tea and listen to a good story. It's also a favorite of one of my most faithful audience members. But at the same time, it's lacking a little pizzazz. Hey. Have you been to Chen the Sharp's place before? His grilled tigerfish is the best around. Third Round Knockout and Wan Min Restaurant are both great restaurants. But when it comes to barbecue, this is the place to go. Enjoying some nice food and drink, sitting by the hot coals in the cool breeze? <laughs> Let's go. Tigerfish! Grilled tigerfish! Hot off the grill! Oh, hey there. Is this a Miss Yoon which I see before me? It's been a while. What'll it be? The usual? Yes, please. I'm out with my friend today. Let's start with a plate of stir-fried meat and a handful of skewers and, of course, some grilled tigerfish. Two, please. One with just a hint of chili and the other one, uh... Got it. Your grilled tigerfish will be ready soon. Do you want any drinks with that? Yeah, I don't advertise it though, because it's just something I'm experimenting around with for fun. Miss Yun likes a drink with her barbecue, so I ended up getting her to try them out for me. So would you two like some tea or... Hmm, anything new? Well, I managed to scrounge some milk from Dongsheng next door. A merchant from Mondstadt told me a while back that there's this popular drink doing the rounds there called a uh, milk tea. I tried my hand at making it too, but the response has been uh, kind of lukewarm. Still way off being ready to add to my menu. Tea with milk? Sorry, milk tea? It might not be the best thing for my throat, but if I'm just having a little taste, I mean, I think it should be fine. Oh, but what about you? Anything you want to drink? Okay, let's get yours in first. And then... Uh, I'll have one of each, if that's all right. I'd like to try them all. Okie dokie. Uh, and here's your tiger fish, fresh off the grill. <laughs> Come on, let's enjoy it while it's still hot. Piping hot barbecue and a nice cool drink is the best sensation. That was great. Shame about these drinks, though. I only had a little sip of each one, so there's a lot left over. I mean, I could just drink them, but they're a little bland for me. Nothing that special. I guess he must have toned down the flavors to make them palatable for a wider range of customers. We could just add some flavor back in? In fact, do you know the hot pot game? Let's play the hot pot game with the leftover drinks. I'll add some extra ingredients based on my tastes, then you try to guess what I added. Sound good? Don't worry. After mixing in the new ingredients, I'll also drink half. 
so I won't add any weird stuff. Ah, we don't need to worry about every last detail. Come on, I'll go grab some ingredients from the shop next door. Once you've psyched yourself up, come and join me. There's still a long road ahead. Huh? 